Does a commercial jet have windshield wipers? Well, the answer might surprise you. Yes, they do. Are they super high-tech, high-capacity windshield wipers? No, they're pretty much just like the ones on your car. They have three positions, intermittent, low, and high. Do they work? They work great. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Once you touch down on the runway, how do you bring that giant jet 460,000 pounds to a complete stop. All right, first is the speed brake, which is an oxymoron, also known as a spoiler, much cooler name. When I arm that and the wheels touch down on the ground, the spoilers on the wings deploy and that gives me aerodynamic drag. Next is the reversers. When the nose gear touches down, I pull these into full reverse. It creates a big wall of air out there that further slows me down. The third way to stop the airplane is these big impressive brakes behind me, all carbon. They're equipped with anti-skid. Anti-skid was developed in the 1950s. You know it is ABS on your car. It keeps the tires from locking up. There are 12 of these tires all together. That's the big force that gets us stopped on the runway. 460,000 pounds. That's a lot of weight to come to a full stop. Now you know. On those super long haul flights, do the pilots have a place to rest? Well, the answer is yes. On the Boeing 777, my airplane just outside the cockpit door, is a set of double doors and inside of it are two bunks. The top bunk usually doesn't get made up. It's usually just for extra pillows and blankets. But the bottom bunk, as you can see, is very luxurious. Now I've got some other extras in here. In an emergency, if I need to talk to somebody, I've got a handset where I can communicate with my co-pilots. I've got a setting here where I can set the temperature. And then around the corner, I've got a place where I can plug in my electronics, I can set the mood with the lighting, and I've even got an AC outlet. Not bad. Pretty comfy altogether, I would say. I'm Captain Steve. Night-night.